if you see a logo, chances are good that it was created using Boolean operations. But what is a Boolean operation? At its core, Boolean is a logic term that can be either true or false. In graphic design, the meaning is quite similar. We use Boolean to describe how shapes are combined, using values such as AND, OR, NOT, or a combination of these. Simply put, Boolean operations are a very powerful tool for any graphic design project. A complicated looking shape can be constructed in no time using the five Boolean operations in Vectornator. These are Unite, Subtract, Intersect, Divide, and Exclude. You'll find these operations at the bottom of the Path tab. But you need to select two or more shapes in order for these Boolean operations to appear. So let's dive deep into each one, using these shapes here as an example. You'll see in a minute why they're different colors. Unite is the first function, and a very common one as well. It does what it says in the name. It unites two or more shapes into one. Bear in mind that the shape on top is going to dictate the properties of the resulting object, in this case, the color. The resulting object is a single closed path, which you can edit just like any other shape in Vectornator. Next, we have Subtract. This operation removes the area of a shape from a base object. Let's see it in action. So I have my base object here, and if we go to our layers, we notice that it's underneath our pink shape. And when I select both shapes, now the pink shape has been subtracted or cut out from the shape at the bottom. Unlike Unite, when you use Subtract, the base shape is the one that will maintain its properties. Next up is Intersect. If we use this function, we create a shape from the overlapping areas of two or more objects. Here, as with Unite, the shape on top will grant its style to the resulting object. That's why it's pink. As we move down the line, the operations get more and more complex. Divide results in the largest amount of unique vector shapes. This operation splits the selected objects into individual shapes created by their intersecting paths. It might not look different, but I've actually just created three shapes that I can now edit independently. Cool, right? Alright, we're down to our last one. Exclude deletes the path that overlaps when two or more shapes are combined. And here again, the object on top dictates the style that the final shape will have. If this all seems a bit conceptual right now, don't worry. Our next video will put all this theory into practice. So be sure to watch that one too. I'll see you guys then. Bye!